Hey everybody, it's Amanda back from Amanda Rose Tarot, and we're here today to do your weekly pick a card reading. This is going to be from August 6th through August 12th, okay? So um, I have three piles here today to pick from. Um, we've got either the stone, the jade, or the seashell. So you can pick whichever you want. Um, the cards we're using today are the Healing with the Fairies Oracle Cards, the Oceanic Tarot, um, the Rider Weight Deck, the um, Gypsy Fortune Cards, and the Gypsy Playing Cards. So we're going to have two Gypsy Cards today, but they're totally different. Every deck is different. That's why I enjoy using different decks. So um, that's all I have. Sorry, it's really early. My daughter's still sleeping. She's actually, she woke up and then she fell asleep again on the floor. Okay, so as long as she's comfortable, she's got a stuffy, she's got a blanket. She seems okay. So we're just going to do this. Hopefully she doesn't wake up screaming. Um, so I'm going to be quiet for a minute. Oh, and I also want to say happy birthday. If it's your birthday this week, I know, um, I forget to say that, but I want to make sure um, that you guys all have a happy birthday, okay? So either pick the stone, the jade, or the seashell, and then we'll look at your cards. Right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I got um, my blueberry juice. It's black currant blueberry juice. It's made by Current Affair, if you guys are interested. It's really good. It's not on the sweet side. Um, it's kind of a healthy antioxidant drink. You might not want to, you know, drink it all day long, but it's good to have like once in a while, just if you're feeling like a little bit run down. Anyways, not like I have any ties to them. I'm not trying to plug anything. I just mentioned that. So let's look at your first... Um, four cards and then we'll look at your oracle card after okay all right so in the oceanic deck you guys get the king of swords and the keyword here is ambition so this would be an air sign um, the symbol for it is Gemini okay the next card you guys got is the Emperor in the Rider weight deck um, this is Aries this is fire energy the card you guys got in Gypsy Fortune is the Flowers. Pretty card. And in the Gypsy Playing Cards, you guys got House. Okay. So let's go over these cards. Um, let's start here with the House. Okay. So, you guys, this is a bad angle for me. I really don't enjoy giving you guys boob shots <laughs> anyway so um so this is the house okay so this is you know it's where you're living it's accommodations it's a structure um you know the word house is more of a structure the word home is more of a feeling that you get um like a lot of people um you know, they're more at home in their office than they are in their house. Um, so this is about, you know, um, a structure, a shelter, um, rather than a place where you feel at home, um, where you feel comfortable, um, you know, where family is. And, um, you know, they say home is where your heart is. So, um, just get back to that maybe um, and, and if you're living in a place where you're unhappy then you know it's not really your home it's just a house it's just a structure um, so you know maybe that's something that you guys needed to hear okay and you guys got the flowers this is a beautiful card um, this card has to do with celebrating yourself um, realizing that people love you and um, don't forget, you know, to nurture yourself. Um, just like these flowers, we need to water ourselves and um, acknowledge, you know, your self-worth 
and that you have things to offer people. Um, so, you know, celebrate yourself. Name different qualities in yourself that you like. Um, you know, and realize that um, one flower won't make a garland. So be around the people that make you feel, you know, this loving feeling towards yourself, towards them. Um, you know, maybe this will be receiving physical gifts. I did say something about um, birthdays before when I started this reading. So maybe, you know, you guys are going to have a birthday. You're going to have gifts coming in. Um, but celebrate yourself. Um, and, and, and don't forget to water your flowers to nourish yourself. Um, be grateful because um, all we really need in life is air, water, food, and heat. Okay? So, you know, maybe you got this house card because you guys need to realize, you know, maybe you live in this nice big house, um, but it's just a structure. You need to realize, you know, what you really need to make you feel at home. Um, is this just a house or is this where your heart is? Um, you know, and, and one flower won't make a garland. So maybe you need to share with others, you know, make this house a home by bringing in flowers, you know, bringing in love, bringing in family and um, be grateful for what you have um, because this isn't really necessary this is just a structure um, you know to keep you dry from the rain it's not really um, you know it's not a, ha a home it's a house okay so that's what I'm feeling here with this card and then you guys got the Emperor so this is fire energy this is Aries um, this is someone that's an authority figure, a father figure. Um, they bring truth. They bring balance. Um, they really can look at the facts and take a logical approach. Um, however, he's still wearing his armor underneath this robe. So he is ready to fight if he has to. But right now he's at rest. He's calm. You know, but he, he can fight if he has to but he would rather resolve problems by being you know that calm person um he also holds um this is supposed to be like an egyptian ink i don't know if you know anything about that a lot of people say it's the world um if you take it as the egyptian ink it's to do with love it's to do with life if you take it as the world, you know, then, you know, he has the world in his hands. Um, this staff represents his authority, his maturity. Um, you know, also his white beard is his maturity and his wisdom. So if this is a person you're going to, um, you know, they can really help you. Um, you know, they take a, a logical action. Um, I said action. This is definitely an action card. Um, red is the color of action and passion. Um, so this person, they're very action driven. Um, you know, maybe you are ready to rush into battle. Maybe that's how you're going to resolve these problems. But right now you're being calm, you're being rational, and you're, you're taking a logical approach. Okay. And then you guys get this king of swords. So this is a charming person. Um, they they're an air energy they um they also they're very strong um like the the emperor um they're logical like the emperor um they they are able to make decisions they're able to be fair in a situation um if this is a person then they're very supportive um, they can help you solve legal issues. Um, it's a very strong leader. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. So these, these people have a lot of the same qualities. It may be two different people, um, but they both, they're, they're strong people, definitely. So, um, with this, if you're going to someone, 
whoever you're going to, they're going to be there to help you and um, maybe show you the, the wonderful qualities of yourself. Maybe you need someone to show you that. Um, but realize what a house is and what a home is and know the difference between those things, okay? Where is your heart, okay? Maybe that's what the decision is. Where is your heart? Okay, so let's look at your final card. Okay, moving forward fearlessly. So with this card, um, you know, the angels want you to take these steps forward in your life. Um, maybe it's a gut feeling, maybe it's dreams that you've had, or just impulses that you're getting. Um, you know, they're trying to show you that you need to take these steps, maybe just tiny steps at first. Take, you know, one step every day. Um, but you can really turn your dreams into reality and have a breakthrough. Um, you know, it's coming, it's coming slowly. Um, but know that you're guided and that every step that you take they're really, they're guiding you as to where to go. So remember, you know, whatever dreams you're having or maybe impulses you're having or just a gut feeling you're having, um, you know, you really need to follow that gut feeling because that's them, that's your angels trying to lead you in the right direction. So maybe if you're still fearful, um, you know, just take these little baby steps. Take a little tiny step every day to moving towards these goals that you have and, um, you know, realize the worth of yourself, okay? Just realize all these qualities that you have and, um, you know, try to name, all, um, you know, as many flowers as there, there is in this vase. Try to name one good quality about yourself for each of those flowers and, um, you know, know your self-worth. This, this card is about self-worth and this is about following your dreams, so... Um, these are very good cards. So this week, I don't, I don't think this is going to be bad at all for you guys. If you pick number one, um, very lovely cards. So that was for the stone. If you pick the stone, um, let's move right on to the second. If you pick the jade, let's look at your first four cards. We'll save um, the fairy card for last. Okay. So you guys in the oceanic, you guys got the tower, and the keyword is destruction. Uh, don't get too scared because you guys also have the world and the Rider weight tarot. Um, this is great. You guys, bang. <laughs> you guys got the rings, okay? That's a very nice card. And it has the flowers in it, which is a, a separate card, but I also had in the first reading, so maybe that's telling you to go look at the first reading. But um, you've got the rings and the flowers are also incorporated into this card. And then you guys got the judge. So I see, you know, ups and downs in this reading. Um, so maybe, you know, you've got some conflict uh, in your situation. Let's first go over the tower. Um, so the keyword here is destruction. Um, but this is a fire energy. Um, so it's a breaking down of something um, that causes a lot of chaos. Um, but remember, every ending brings a new beginning. So this is the beginning of enlightenment. Um, you know, just surrender to whatever the universe is bringing, um, you know, into your life. You can't control it. Okay, maybe you have control issues, but you have to stop. You have to be vulnerable. Um, surrender to what the universe is doing. You may have to start over, um, build a stronger foundation, but next time it's going to be much stronger. Um, so surrender to what the universe is doing. Um, you know, it's it may bring a lot of chaos, um, but in the end, um, you know, it's you're going to become enlightened, and um, you just have to um, accept it. You know. That's hard. That's easy for me to say, you know, maybe your world is collapsing um, around you, but you have to surrender and you have to accept it, okay? And you guys got the judge. So, you know, the judge is about seeing, you know, the good and the bad. See if the situation is a good 
or is it bad? Making a decision, judging it, deciding, you know, it, maybe it's in the court of law, maybe you've got some kind of case, um, but it's knowing what, what's right, what's wrong, whatever is right is going to prevail, um, you know, it, it's making decisions, okay? You have to decide who's going to win. Is, is good going to win or is evil going to win? Um, you know, but there, there's a decision that needs to be made and it could be, um, you know, an ending that needs to be decided. Is something going to end? Because if it does, you know, it's, it's, it's not a bad, this is not a bad card. It may appear bad, but it's not. It's a breakthrough. Okay. And then you guys got the rings. Okay. This is a beautiful card. So if you're already married, then this is not you. This is maybe someone that's around you, um, but it's a happy marriage. Um, it's meeting someone. It's, it's a union. Um, it's a reward uh, for your efforts because um, effort is still required, okay? Um, it could be being bound to someone, but in a good way, not a bad way. Um, you know, they don't yet have these rings on their hands. You probably can't see that, but, um, the left hand still bare. So they haven't yet, um, you know, taken the rings on. Um, so there's still effort required, but this is definitely a good thing. Um, it means relationships are going to flourish, uh, and it's knowing the good qualities of these people, okay, because the flowers is about knowing your self-worth, knowing your qualities, and maybe knowing the qualities of this person that you're with. What what good qualities do they have? What good qualities do you have? Um, focusing on the positive uh, and not the negative. Um, but it's, it's, it's being, um, you know, linked with someone. They've got linked arms. So it's, 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 it's becoming one with someone. Okay. So maybe it's, um, meeting of minds, you know, these two like-minded people meet together and, um, it's definitely a union of, of people coming together. Um, so like I said, if you're already married, then, you know, it could be just renewing your vows or knowing the qualities that your partner has. Um, and it's, it's, you know, completion. Okay, you guys got the world card. So this is um, victory, success, completion, reward, support from the universe. The, you know, there's unseen forces that are supporting you. And um, it's unity. It's starting fresh on a new journey. So it's, it's union. Okay, we've got union twice here. Um, and she's almost looking over at them lovingly. So you have the support from the universe. Maybe you're coming together with someone. Um, and the universe is supporting that. Okay. And, you know, there may be some, some destruction involved and some judging. You know, maybe deciding what's, what's right and what's wrong. And going forward with what's right. Because I think if you go forward with what's right it's going to bring a union and uh, success and completion um, to something okay so let's look at your final card happily ever after okay so that goes totally with this reading that you guys got um, this is something that's going to happen and it's going to bring a happy outcome for you um, it's, it's going to be a miracle that happens for you. So stop worrying. Um, forgive any mistakes. Forget mistakes. Um, you know, this movie that is your life, that you're the actor or actress in, it's going to have a happy ending. So it's, don't sabotage heaven because they have happy plans for you. Don't think of the negative, um, you know, in every situation because... Um, the universe is supporting you. They want to reward you. They want you to have this happy outcome, um, you know, with this person, okay? And the world, this is saying the same thing. You know, the world is supporting you, 
they want this happiness and this success for you. Um, but something is going to have to come uh, to an ending before this can happen. So just be aware of that. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, this huge thing. Uh, it's, you know, some sort of collapse, maybe of a relationship, something. But it's going to bring success. Okay, so that's number two if you pick the jade. And let's move right on to number three if you pick the seashell. Okay. Okay, you guys got the page of wands. The cre um, keyword is creativity. And this could be a fire sign, a Sagittarius is, is what this card, um, the element or the sign is. You guys got the five of wands in reverse. You guys got the bride. And you guys got sadness. Okay, so a lot of conflicting energies here, just like um, the jade. They had conflicting energies too. Um, let's start here with the page. So this is the page of wands. Like I said, the keyword is creativity. So someone is coming in, um, you know, they're bringing a message, um, communication, maybe of new work or new um, creative pursuits, maybe writing, acting, drawing, um, playing music, um, dancing. Um, but projects start taking off. And it could be the influence of this person, this creative person. Um, this person, they're very charming. They're very chatty. Um, they like to express themselves creatively. Um, they're also very fun and flirtatious. Um, you know, this is someone that you want to be around. And um, they can really inspire you to start something new, something um, creative. So this could be you or this could be someone that's going to come in and they're going to help you with this creative side that, um, you know, you're inspired to, um, you know, get into, get back into. Maybe you used to draw or maybe you used to paint. Um, maybe this creative person is going to inspire you to begin doing that again, whatever it was that you enjoyed doing or that you've, you know, thought about starting. Maybe you want to start writing or maybe you want to start painting um, as an outlet to your creativity. Um, it's something that, you know, you should do definitely. If, if you have these urges to do something, that's your spirits trying to tell you, maybe try this, maybe try this. Okay. And then you guys get sadness. So I think you guys still have a little bit of depression. Um, it could be, you know, just from time to time. It doesn't have to be all the time, but it's some sort of heartache. Um, you know, sadness really can't be measured. Um, we all have these periods of sadness. Uh, our emotions, you know, they, they're all over the map sometimes. Sometimes we're happy, sometimes we're sad. So you guys still might have some of the sadness, this depression. Maybe you're grieving. Um, you know, and, and, or maybe you just feel inadequate. Okay. Maybe that's what you're feeling. Maybe someone's moved away. Um, you know, and, and you're sad about it. You, you miss them and, um, you wish, you know, that they were still here. Um, but just remember that, you know, it's, it's a struggle. Everyone has these struggles and, um, it's just a matter of overcoming them and having balance in your life. It's okay to cry, um, but don't cry all the time, okay? You have to balance it with your happiness. Um, so maybe tap into this creative side. Um, go to this person that's creative and be inspired by them rather than, you know, just having this self-pity. Um, you know, try to look at the bright side of everything and um, you know it, it's cloudy here um, but the sun's gonna come out soon okay so look to brighter days maybe you're having a bad day um, but try not to focus on that try to focus on positive things okay and you guys got the bride so this is focusing on something good definitely um, 
you know, the bride is about happy friendships, happy marriages. Um, maybe one of your friends is getting married. Maybe you're getting married. Um, but it's, it's a wonderful, happy marriage or maybe a proposal. It's saying um, follow your heart's desire, um, but don't rush in. Um, you know, her. she's reading a letter from her lover, so her lover is not there. Um, you know, this could be her husband-to-be, um, but she's happy and she's hopeful. And um, this message is from her husband-to-be, and she's going to keep it and she's going to cherish it. And, um, you know, this is a message from universe saying that all is going to be good and have this anticipation that things are going to be good for you. And, um, although it says move slow, um, you know, there is love there. The rose here signifies love. Uh, the red rose is the symbol of love. So know that there is love there and, um, maybe you're getting some messages of love, um, and, and it's just going to make you really, really happy to feel that. And, um, you know, maybe this grieving or this sadness, you know, you're going to read these messages of love and it's going to make you feel much, much better about your situation. And you guys got the five of wands, but this is in reverse. So this is saying, um, the struggle is almost over. Um, you know, don't have little faith you need more faith in the situation you're fearing this these arguments this disharmony um in relationships um it could be little disputes or little fights uh or maybe not being able to reach a decision with someone uh you guys aren't on the same page you guys you know have this struggle that you're going through this conflict um, but ha keep your faith. The struggle is almost over with it in reversed. Um, you know, you're coming out of it. You're coming out of these, these little arguments or little quarrels that you're having. Um, maybe you're thinking about them. Um, you know, and that's what's causing the sadness is you're thinking about these little fights and conflicts that you've had. But I think you're coming out of that. You're definitely, you're going to start focusing on the positive messages rather than the negative messages, um, you know, that you, that you might have had. Um, and maybe tap into your creative side um, to help you get out of the, these thoughts of conflict, these thoughts of inadequacy. Um, focus on the positive here and uh, it will help you get through and tap into your creative side writing painting dancing singing um, whatever it is that you are inspired to do tap into that maybe it's tarot reading maybe you guys want to purchase these decks I have the links below maybe purchase one of these decks the ones that you're drawn to um, you know, and, and, and start doing that creative expression. That's a way of expressing yourself creatively as well. Okay. Let's look at your final card, the healing with the fairies. Okay. You guys got kindness. I like this card. It wasn't that long ago that we got this card, but it's being affectionate. It's being warm. It's, um, it's being gentle. Um, you know, she's got this little rabbit here. She's holding very, very gently. It's having that gentleness, um, concern and care for others and for animals. Um, it's understanding others, having sympathy for them, being unselfish, being charitable, um, you know, being compassionate and helping others without expecting anything in return having respect for others and their different opinions. Um, also showing respect to yourself, having kindness to yourself, um, not thinking that you're inadequate or, you know, um, not having these harsh words towards yourself in your mind. Turn down the volume of those negative thoughts that you may be having of yourself and be kind to yourself. Um, and lift others' spirits. Um, you know, we all screw up. We all fail. But don't beat yourself up for it. And don't have negative self-talk towards yourself. Um, and be kind to others. Kindness is free. So you can afford it. Okay? You can afford to be kind. Because kindness is, is free. 
and um, if you don't have hatred in your heart you're gonna have a beautiful day and you're gonna give others you know a beautiful day um, just by being kind towards them one kind word can lift someone's spirit all day long and um, you know it's free it's free to be kind so help someone today and have care and concern for them and have sympathy towards them okay so this is for all week so carry on this kindness um, you know try to do it every day I know we're not perfect sometimes we flub up and we may say something but even if you you think it in your head don't say it okay you can have negative thoughts just don't say them we all do it's it's the devil okay putting these negative thoughts in your head but it's up to you whether you speak them okay you don't have to you can keep them in your head and and just think them and, and not go through with saying them and it will make you feel better you'll feel empowered you know that you can can hey you guys um my phone said my memory was full I really think it was the spirit saying that I said enough and it's time to go so thank you guys for coming and I hope you have a wonderful week um and I will talk to you soon bye bye